Hey, welcome back to Lee Writing Services on YouTube, or I should say Lee Writing and Pronunciation on YouTube. That's the new official title of my channel, um, because it's really a channel about writing and pronunci pronunciation. Um, most of my videos lately have been pronunciation videos because, I, I don't know, they're kind of entertaining. If you, You'll notice lately I've been doing like uh, alien masks while saying alien and uh, boxing gloves, you know, how to say boxing and then I punch myself. Yeah, just entertaining videos like that to try to visually show, you know, the word that I'm pronouncing. Yeah, you know, just for entertainment's sake. But anyway, we're getting, we're going back to a script tutorial video. Um, uh, in this one, uh, again, final draft, uh, I'm going to show you how to turn on revision mode in Final Draft. Uh, you know, let's say you're editing someone else's script and you want to sh show the corrections that you made. You want to, like, you know, make it so that they can see where the corrections were made. Uh, this is how you do it. Um, basically, you go, you know, this is a sample script that I wrote. Uh, so you open up your script. Final Draft is open, obviously. Uh, you go to Production tab, and then you just click Revision Mode, like that. And now, every time you make a change, let's say you type something new, like that, or delete and type something new, like that, uh, that's what happens. Now we want to change, we want to get rid of that underline that's on for some reason. So to change how the new text looks, you know, the color, the underlining, uh, you would go to revision setup, uh, revision sets. And right here is where you can make those changes. Um, see, I, want, I don't, I want to take away the underline. So take that off. Uh, maybe I want to change the color too. Uh, so I would go purple. Uh, all this other stuff we can leave and then hit OK, OK, and then look what happens. The underline is gone and now it's a new color. So let's change something else. Delete and then type it in again. OK. And the asterisk over here uh, signifies that signifies the line that the change was made on. So if you if you need to quickly look for the line where the changes were made, you can just look over here. Okay, asterisk is there, so uh, there and there. And then, see, now it comes back again. Uh, I, yeah, so anytime you delete something and then type something in new, it'll be a new color, and then the asterisk is there. Also, if you go back to that revision sets, you can change the revision mark. Uh, this is the default mark. Let's say you want to make it, um, let's the revision mark to be pound sign. Um, and let's say, I don't know, strike out, <laughs> even though that would look silly, but let's, let's just put that strike out and then we'll change the color again. Green. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, now look. All the changes we made are green with a strike through them. And now the revision mark is changed to a pound sign. All right. And then we can just change that back if we want to. Revision sets. Um, I'll leave green to take the strike out. Uh, and we'll change that back to an asterisk right there. Boom. Boom. See? It's that simple. Um, now for this other stuff you don't really need to oh yeah there's one thing i want to show you let's say you go to a new page and you make another change watch what happens see this up here this is supposed to show you the date that you made the change on um if you, if you go here edit revision set labels you can enter in a date there. Um, you, you know, you don't really have to worry about this. The blue, the pink. Uh, that's just if you want to color code the labels. 
So let's just say 7, 0, 9, 19. Let's see, watch what happens. See? It's up to you whether or not you want to do that or not. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Why did I click that? There you go. Okay. Uh, we'll leave it. I'll change it back to the default. Uh, so, oh, and all right, everything's good. Also, um, you don't have to worry about this. Um, this will actually take away all the revisions if you select that. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. You don't have to worry about this either. No, none of that stuff's necessary. I mean, you can research this stuff more. Uh, oh, wait, I used the wrong one. Should have been a parenthesis. Uh, let me get that. I mean, you can research all these extras to see what they do, but basically, if, if you're just trying to, you know, show the change that you made, just click that and then make the changes. It's, it's really not any more complicated than that. You don't have to make it more complicated than that. The only other thing you got to concern yourself with is, is this label up here, you know, changing the date. That's it. Everything else is pretty straightforward. I see. Um, and that's that. All right. So, um, hope this video is helpful. Um, you know, I'm not an expert on the revision setup, but I do know the revision mode that you click this and make the change and then if you want to change the color of the revision of the revised text, then you just go here or, and also you can add these to make it bold. Let's say, and then all the changes become bold. Let's see. Yeah. See now it's bold. Um, you know, that's that simple. All right. And if you have a different version of final draft, uh, it should be pretty much the same. It might be a little different on the layout, but I'm sure you can, figure it out just by watching this video, you know, just put the pieces together. Uh, production tab, revision mode. That's all there is. All right. Subscribe. Later.